What's up, sons? It's Bondron with Son of Attack once again, and welcome to the 17th episode of Mining Rig Wars. Last week's winner for the finals episode 5 was Crypto Outlaw, so he is the king of the fifth series of Mining Rig Wars. I'll be messaging you probably on Discord. If you guys want to get into our public Discord, check it out in the description below. To vote for your favorite rig from this week, be sure to click the exclamation point up in the corner and vote in the poll, and that will determine the winner for the week. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Welcome back. So starting things off, we have Rig A named Saturn by John, who is also known as the PC Warlock on YouTube. He's rocking the Asus Sabertooth Z170S motherboard with the i7-6700K. That's a lot of proc for a mining rig and 16 gigabytes of memory. He's running the Asus Turbo GTX 1080 with an Asus Turbo GTX 1070 by two, so two of the 1070s there. And then he's got two 1050 Ti's, one EVGA for the win edition and one MSI low profile, which I actually have one of the MSI low profiles and for a media center PC, they are awesome. I guess you could use it for mining as well. The only thing I noticed is that it does seem to gather dust quite quickly, at least down here in Texas. And seeing as the fans and all of the fins on the heat sinks are quite tiny, that can end up being quite an issue and you have to keep it cleaned out quite a bit. That being said, he's rocking 117 mega hash a second and 1700 solutions a second. Next we have Rig B Condensed Mining by Jeff. He's rocking the BTC Pro Plus H110 motherboard, well motherboards, he has six of them, with 18 750 watt gold power supplies, a mix of gold and bronze he clarifies, and 85 GTX 1060s. He's running NVOC uh, 1.8 it looks like there, and his total hash rate is 1.9 giga hash a second. That is a big operation he's got going on there. Next we have Rig C named 12 Apostles by Paul, <laughs> which is an apostle there. <laughs> funny. He's rocking the Biostar BTC 250 Pro with 12 NVIDIA GTX 1060s, the 6 gigabyte models. He has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 and a gold power supply 1600 watt with 160 gigabyte Samsung SSD all in a 12U rack. He's rocking 270 mega hash a second. Next on the list is Rig D named Mo Rig by Henry. He clarifies that he is using the IKEA wood TV table and that it was in the wrong place at the right time and so now it has been turned into a mining rig with uh, two H81 motherboards and two Celeron G1840 processors and two sticks of HyperX Fury 4 gigabytes. So all in all he has uh, two 850 watt EVGA power supplies and two 1200 watt server power supplies, which all power seven RX 580 Nitro Plus editions, one RX 580 Nitro Plus eight gigabyte editions, so the seven are four gigabytes to clarify, and one RX 570 Nitro Plus four gigabyte edition as well. So looks like he's in that Sapphire fan house over here, and he's rocking three Asus dual overclocked RX 588 gigabytes, which are probably feeling pretty lonely and by themselves, poor Asus. His total hash rate is 177 mega hash a second uh, on the first rig, and on the second rig, it's 172 mega hash a second. So his total is up over 300, around 350. Finally, we have Rig E Block 4 by Hendrick. He's rocking the G4400 processor. Welcome to the club, good sir. Four gigabytes of memory and a Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboards. And all in all, those that's his base system. And as you can see, he has multiple rigs here. And totaling, he's got 30 Sapphire RX 470 4 gigabyte mining edition cards, 24 Power Color RX 474 gigabyte mining edition cards, 120 gigabyte solid state drive for each rig, and each rig comes with a dual power supply 750 watt and light black. 
Total hash rate on this farm is 1,505 mega hash a second. Going back through these, the frames look stackable and all in block four, which is really, really clean and a good setup. It does also look like he has some good ventilation going on in the background. You can see the fans that are pushing the air from the graphics cards out uh, through the ventilation in the top of the room there. I am curious why he's rocking the 120 gigabyte SSD. I'm assuming he's running Windows on all of these rigs. You might want to consider an easier option that's easier to manage in a web GUI such as Hive OS or Simple Mining OS. Moving on to Rig D, well, buddy, I don't think Mama's going to let you keep that uh, keep keep all of those graphics cards on the coffee table there for much longer. So. You're probably going to have to come up with another route for uh, for mounting all of those GPUs. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I just don't think that you could get away with that much longer. Uh, I would definitely pull that uh, power strip up off of the carpet, if that's carpet there, just to, you know, to prevent fire hazards, etc. I'd probably do that as well. On 12 Apostles, the, I really couldn't see much of what was going on other than there's a huge rat's nest under the... GPUs, so getting that worked out would probably be good, you know. Uh, the 160 gigabyte Samsung SSD implies that he's probably running Windows, so let us know what you're running there. But all in all, mounting it in a rack like that is awesome and actually probably more efficient than running the Rosewill rack mounting for you cases. I think this this would keep the cooling a lot better than that method. For rig B condensed mining, that yeah, that's very condensed. There are a lot of cards in a very close space. I am curious on how cooling does there. I'm sure you've got it all worked out. It is impressive that you're able to stick like essentially 85 GPUs all in that one shelving unit. That's pretty impressive to say the least. And of course, you're going to have issues with cable management whenever you have that many cards that close together. So I'm going to give you a break on that one. And then finally, Saturn, the PC Warlock. Go check him out on YouTube. I have not actually watched him as YouTube yet. So I'm going to do that as soon as we get over with the show here. I'm assuming that this is primarily a gaming rig that he mines with when he's not gaming. So the only suggestion I would have here is to go ahead and keep your 1080 in this rig and then take the rest of the cards, go buy yourself a cheap Pentium, a cheap motherboard, and, and uh, 4 gigs of RAM, which actually, uh, I, uh, yeah, RAM's getting a little rough right now, but... And go ahead and move that to where you can have a 24-7 operation going on that. And then still have your gaming rig that you can then also, if you want, dual boot in something like SMOS or Hive OS when you're not at home to go ahead and mine. That would be my suggestion just because I, I've already gone through this whole headache of starting off with mining on my gaming PC and adding cards into that and then moving and once i was able to just kind of consolidate everything that i wanted to mine with into one rig and then i used an easy to use operating system like hive os or smos and get that running and just running 24 7. i noticed it was a lot easier to just keep crypto coming into all of my wallets so just a suggestion there that's going to wrap it up for the week. Be sure that you don't forget to vote up here in the corner by clicking the exclamation point. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to go purchase a t-shirt or just, you know, support the channel by sharing out the videos. As always, I will see you next Tuesday.